Well, hello, my friend, and welcome to day 244 of our Bible reading plan. We are reading through the Bible in one year together, and I'm so glad that you've joined us on the journey for today. I can't wait to share some of my thoughts and reflections as we journey through the Bible together. So the first thing that really spoke to me out of our Bible readings today was from 2 Corinthians chapter 5 and verse 7, where it says, for we walk by faith and not by sight. It made me ask the question to myself, which one am I truly walking by today? Am I walking by sight? or am I walking by faith? When we walk by sight, we look at the circumstances around us, we try and piece together all of the open doors, the opportunities, the things that are going on. We try to piece together what God might be doing. And hey, that's not a bad, you know, those aren't aren't bad indicators of what God's doing in our lives. But at the end of the day, God doesn't want us to be moved by what we see, but he wants us to be moved by faith. He is gonna speak to us clearly about, about what he wants us to do, how he wants us to go, where he wants us to walk, how he wants us to follow. And he wants us to walk by faith and not by sight. So which one are you walking by today, faith or sight? I also love this verse in Micah chapter five and verse two. It says, but you, O Bethlehem Ephrathah, who are too little to be among the clans of Judah, from you shall come forth for me, one who is to be the ruler in Israel, whose coming forth is from of old, from ancient days. We see that this prophetic word by Micah was spoken 700 years before Jesus arrives on the scene. So God is revealing through his prophet something that is going to happen in the future. He's revealing hidden things. He's revealing secret things that are going to happen in the future and he's revealing them through the prophet. Do you know what today? God can reveal to us things about our future through prophetic words, through the word of the Lord in our lives. And so when it comes to just helping us to know what God is speaking to us and how to walk by faith, these prophetic words can really strengthen us in knowing exactly what God is saying to us and how we are going to step out in faith according to those words that have been spoken. So I'd love to pray for us today, my friend. I'd love to pray firstly that we walk by faith and not by sight. And I would also love to pray that God would reveal through his prophetic words in our lives, he would reveal those hidden things, those things that we don't know about our future that he wants us to know so that we can walk by faith into his plans and purposes for us. So God, I just thank you for your word today. I thank you, Lord, that you're speaking to us. I thank you, Lord, for your presence with us, Lord. I thank you, Lord, that you don't want us to walk by sight, but by faith, Lord. And so, God, I pray that you would help us to walk by faith today, Lord God, no matter what the circumstances around us look like. I thank you, God, that we would be motivated and propelled by faith into your plans and your promises for us, Lord God. I pray as well, Lord God, that just as Micah prophesied about Jesus 700 years before he came, Lord God, I thank you that you can reveal through the prophetic, you can reveal things to us about us future. You can reveal things to us about what you're going to do. And Lord God, I thank you that we can hold on to those prophetic words. We can test them, hold on to them and move in faith towards them, knowing that you have spoken to us. Lord God, as we walk by faith and not by sight, God, I thank you that these prophetic words can bring us strength to hold on to. God, we just give you all the praise and we give you all the glory in Jesus mighty name. Everybody said, Amen. Amen. Well, thank you so much for joining me today, my friend. I will see you tomorrow for day 245 of our Bible reading plan. Catch you then. Bye.